Mad balls, mad balls, gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball. Mad ball. Mad ball. Freaky fun for everyone, sold separately from Amtoy. Mad ball. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ray, aka Sketchworks. Now I'm here with you for another video. This video is gonna be me drawing that guy right there, the middle guy. I forgot his name already, but he's gonna be Mad Balls. Just my shelf of vintage toys, and let's come over here to my desk. And this is what we're gonna be drawing, guys. I'm working on my 16-inch Cintiq. Cintiq. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is lower the transparency or the opacity of the sketch layer and then put a new layer on top. And on that new layer, we will be inking it. The uh, sketch I did beforehand already, and now I'm laying down the line work. Still working on my line work technique. Uh, do one smooth stroke instead of petting the lines like I used to. Uh, one smooth stroke makes for a cleaner drawing, obviously. So that's what I'm going for now. And practice make perfect, right? Okay, I'm almost done with the line work here. Just doing a little touch up here and there and the next step I will be doing is the coloring. Uh, coloring, I usually bring in a reference drawing to uh, draw the color from, just so I get more color accuracy when I'm drawing these guys. Uh, just makes things easier if I could just have a reference drawing with the color. And as you see, I brought in the, the mad ball picture there on the, in that sub view and lay down the purple in this particular drawing i didn't do any uh flats uh i figured let me skip that process and see how it goes i really need to do the flats it's, i know it's time consuming but i really need to do flats it works a lot easier when i'm doing the detail works uh, on a drawing uh, but this one i skipped the flats just went straight to coloring i made it work but it wasn't as easy as I, as I um, if it, if I would have done the flat first. So, but everything's looking like it's coming along though. wasn't too bad. It's just a little bit more harder to work with, but I made it work. John is coming alive, guys. <laughs> alive! It's alive! It's alive! Yes, once I lay down the color, the picture does come alive. I love it. It just brings up more detail, the shadows and the highlights. It just makes the drawing really pop. Okay, the drawing didn't come out too bad. 
uh, by skipping the flats. The color, pretty clean in my opinion, but uh, I won't be skipping it again. I think it'd be a lot easier to work with the flats and the results would be a lot cleaner. Um, so next time, doing the flats. you guys are enjoying the video here as I decided I am gonna make this a mini project series one of Mad Balls had eight ball characters I guess you could call them and I decided I am going to draw all eight of them so after this video drops I'll have seven more video dropping one per week so I hope you guys enjoy the video I enjoyed drawing them so stay tuned for those done uh, just again doing some more detail here uh, detail work on the gums and the, the saliva and the I need to add the background and but this is pretty much a done drawing guys uh, I appreciate you guys sticking out and watching what this video is about eight minutes long appreciate it uh, watching the video but remember to hit that subscribe button I know I'm new uh, I don't have many subscribers right now but I'm working on it adding more content and working on my video and trying to make my video a little cleaner, a little better, a little more entertaining and for me to stop stuttering on my on my voiceover. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video and like I said, remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for me and I will really appreciate it. Till next time guys, peace. <laughs>